the 18th update it is the 12th so it's something like the 38th day 39th day something like that got a lot to speak about yeah I've missed three days again but it's getting tricky to keep up especially when I'm always rocking so I've got a lot to put in and I've got a lot of videos so I'm going to have to be super fast I know I say that every time but you know rock and roll oh shit <laughs> my bloody thing just broke <laughs> alright let me just Peas and rice. <laughs> At least that happened on camera. That's hilarious. Right, I found a chair. Um, <laughs> uh, a big, a big round thing just broke. Oh well. Um, so I left you. I was on the top of the. Um, I was in Sea and Reap. I was on the top of my bar, on top of my bar, on top of the roof bar thing. And um, yeah, uh, had I went down, had two hours of sleep. Well, maybe it was one hour. So we got up at about eight o'clock. Uh, me and Dave went out, got some drink, uh, went out, got some food, went to a cheap place, uh, got ourselves two beers there for fifty cent uh, with our meals, and then we waltzed into the main main uh, pub street. I've got loads of videos of it, and then um, went to another place, had about four beers uh, there for fifty cents. So that was about two dollars, which is about one pound sixty for four beers. <laughs> and then uh, then we went straight into the main centre where there's this place called Angkor Wat but Angkor Wat's obviously the temple but they have it they have it like Angkor Wat spelt like English Wat and it's like a real hippie sort of spray paint all over the place sort of bar that's where it all goes on so we ended up grabbing some beers right next to it because beers in there are expensive but we just went like well, why not go to the bar next door and just just go in so then we used the, got the beers and then went in basically um, but yeah, it was. I had like a whole street party. It was mental. It was really a really fucking good night. A um, lot different to all the rest. Like I wasn't really completely drunk. I just enjoyed it. Like it was like really getting down with the locals. It was wicked. Um, yeah, basically we had a few beers there. Then we were both like quite drunk by then. You know, we necked about eight beers or whatever. They're not full pints. So it's not like I'm not not claiming I drank eight pints. Um, but yeah, um, in that hit, in this heat, you don't really need a lot. Um, so then we rocked over to um, Anchor Watt, went in, danced around. It's like a nightclub. Um, that was good. And then met a few people, said hi to some people. Yeah, just socialised the normal. And then we went outside, and everyone's out there, and there's some little girl selling stuff, and she does like break dancing. So she was really cool, and she was selling wristbands. Dave brought one for a dollar. Um, so yeah, and that was good. And then, uh, then about, I don't know, about 12, 1 o'clock, it changed into some sort of like, because it's New Year here in, about, in, the, in, in the 14th, it's now the 12th, so 14th the New Year starts here. And they do like all these build-up things. And anyway, one of the pubs, one of like the bars, like, like all their um, all their staff were out and they were doing like these part, they were doing these party games, but like they're really local games, like what they all play at school and stuff. Uh, so they started off with Tug and War, um, uh, what's it called? Bag racing, where you get in the bag. What's that called? Sleeping bag racing? I don't know, something like that. And they did a bit of that, but they did that just between the locals because that's obviously their competition. And then, uh, and then they let, and then they let all the tourists in, and they were playing. We were playing loads of weird games. We did this one where you sit down, and you've got this like whip. Oh, well, it's like a, it's like a cloth, and then you just basically whip the person next to you and when you whip them they have to get up and you have to chase them round the whole circle to get back to your seat but while you chase them you can just whip them as much as you want so people just go around whipping each other it's mental and it's hilarious that was my favourite game because it just wouldn't happen in England there was no winner or loser like you just basically whipped each other had a laugh and then passed on the whip and whipped each other again that was hilarious and then there's another one where everybody holds hands and nobody gives a shit who you hold hands with. It's just nice. And me and Dave got in with all the locals, holding hands with locals, couldn't speak a word of English. So that was really nice to just be able to, you know, you've got like that whole international thing in between. Like, you don't understand what each other's saying, but you've yet you've got that bond of just like having a really good time. And basically, that one, you all hold hands. And when somebody, a, a couple uh, holding hands, they run around. And then, if they t tag you in the middle, you have to go the opposite way run around a circle and try and beat them to the spot whilst holding your partner's hands but obviously like people drag their partners around because they're faster and stuff but um and then it gets a bit it, then it gets a bit rough because like when you meet when you go the opposite ways you meet in the middle on the other side and they all start wrestling <laughs> but, but yeah me and dave were like wrestling each other because we were against each other that was really fun and there's no winner or loser again you know like if you don't make it to the spot 
it's your turn to tag somebody out, so you just keep going, keep going. Oh, it's really fun, really, really good get little games. So then after that, we went home, we got some uh, greasy $1 noodles. Um, yeah, smashed that, and then I went to sleep, and then we woke up to obviously uh, quite late, about to one, I think, maybe it's one-ish, because obviously we've been getting up really early for the temples, and we just wanted to lie in. So we did that, and... Um, yeah, then we went on the hunt for, uh, well, we ate some food, then we went on the hunt for booking our bus. Yeah, booking our bus. Had a shocker. We absolutely had a shock. We were going around like, oh, yeah, looking for prices. Everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we've got a bus. And then we just went around and they were like, oh, no, it's New Year. It's like the New Year soon. Like, you got no chance of getting a bus. And then all of them, like, were st promised us buses we went to and promised us different prices. And then we just slowly went up and up in price and we were like, yeah. And they were like, oh, no. And they called, like, three different companies, most of them. And they were like, no, none of them have got a bus. So we weren't going to get a night bus and we were really annoyed because we were hungover and we just wanted to get out of Siem Reap. Like, we love Siem Reap, but I set the anchor temples and a, and a good go on this on the strip. There's not a lot to do. You can probably go see a few more museums if you want, but yeah, nothing special. So we wanted to get out of there really and have another day on the coast with a beach. So we were really annoyed that we might have to stay there on a day. Anyway, it got to about five o'clock and we kept and we were just like sort of gave up and we decided we were going to just book one for the morning and have to book another room in the hostel. And then uh, we just went down to the one. Uh, yeah, we, we booked our room for that night because we'd already given up. But then the place said they didn't have one for the morning either, so then we had to go into town. And we went to this, this special one, which was like independent, and we were like, you don't have a night bus, do you? And they were like, yeah, we've got one bed left though, not for two, but, like, but you, if you want, you can fit two people in a bed. And we were just both like, Oh yes, because we just wanted to get out of there, so we got that, and then we managed to get our refund for the room. But it cost two; it cost twenty dollars each, which is about sixteen quid, fifteen quid. But it's a long old journey; it's about twelve hours. But yeah, it's not bad. It's about the same as what I was paying in Thailand. But anyway, yeah, we rolled up at eight, uh, yeah, eight o'clock, and it was a wicked bus. It was like it was like beds. I've got. Oh, did I get a video? No, I think I just got pictures. Unfortunately, it's like. It's like a hotel hotel bus, they call it. It's got, like, a bed with double bed. Not quite a double bed. It's quite small. But you've got a double bed and then a double bed underneath. It's got Wi-Fi, uh, TV. TV didn't work in the end. Aircon to the max. Like, if anything, it's too cold. Um, and it's just really, really comfy and sleepy and lovely. Um, but as it laid out, the um, noodles that we had on that night, they kicked our ass. Like, I threw up in the morning. Um... And, it, and I, when I threw up, I knew it wasn't hungover threw up because I was like, I didn't drink that much. Uh, but it all came out like green, so it was definitely the noodles. And then Dave started having the poos all the time. So, yeah, anyway, we did the journey. We don't need to explain that. And then we got here. Um, we got here on the bus station, and then we went to Snookville. Uh, I think it's called Snookville. Uh, then, but we didn't really know where the place was to be. But we looked on my, in my book and online. And we ended up going to, oh, I can't remember what it's called, Senatory Beach or whatever it's called. We went there and then we looked for like hostels in a in a bar whilst getting some free Wi-Fi. And then we booked out here, which is, oh shit, what's it called? Arcris? I don't know. Oh, I'm terrible with names. Sorry, I always let it down. Otters, I think it's called like Otters, Otters Beach actually. And we got, a, it cost a dollar each to get here. And it's amazing. It's like hippie effing's huts. Uh, Everything it's completely different to Thailand. Like it's not Pi, but it is a little bit like Pi in the chilled outness and everybody's a hippie. Everyone's got braids and dreadlocks. Um yeah. So basically yeah. And then um we came, book looked around for rooms, because uh, we just we just we just, well they didn't have a lot on ho uh, hostel worlds because this place is like up and coming, so yeah, and then we did it and this place is amazing. I recommend anyone who's going to Cambodia to go to the coast. It's got a beach, little huts, cheap beer and just like Everybody's chilled out to hell, and like we've got local food. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, then we came here. Uh, we looked around, and there was a few really cool places. But we went for the cheap one, which was four dollars, and it's called the Rockstar. And basically, it's owned by this like American rock star, and he's got this voice like this, and he's the next rock star. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but yeah, he's hard as fuck. I won't want to mess with him, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, then we um, we just chilled out for the whole day. Just enjoyed. The little bars on the beach, um, just drank a lot, drank a lot all day, <laughs> just drank loads of beer, and then we went to a barbecue and I had some sea fish, uh, seafood barbecue with like rice and vegetables, which was really big, 
And then, yeah, and then we kept drinking, and then we got some, we got some uh, pot noodles at night, and then, yeah, we went to sleep here. And the beds were just like beds on the floor, like the pie ones I had in, in Darling, host uh, Darling Hostel, similar to that in a hut. But yeah, this is one of the huts, like, this is a, it's, it's been left though, so I'm guessing they don't sell these rooms anymore. I mean, they are a bit scabby. But yeah, it's pretty scabby, this place, but it's $4 is the cheapest I think I've paid accommodation everywhere. That's like £2. Yeah, about £2.20 for a night. So yeah, that's that really. But basically, I had an awesome night in seeing Reap, and it was, I was down with the locals playing these weird games. It was like no other night I've ever had before. It was like a complete, complete culture, complete culture shock, and like, I just felt like I was super like, an Asian, it was really good. I, was, I just felt like I was from Cambodia, it was really nice. And out here is really cool. Uh, but we're actually heading to uh, an island today. We don't want to. We don't want. We don't want to spend too long in each place. But this place is really cool. We might come back to it. Apparently, we got a good night out on Thursday as well here. Uh, they do like a jungle party, so that sounds cool. Uh, but right now, we're going to another island called Koh Rong. Koh Rong. So yeah, we're going to Cambodian island, which is probably the only island we're going to Cambodia. So quite excited for that. So I've got loads of clips. So I won't speak too much. That's that really. Cambodia is really cool. Uh, Siem Reap Bar Street's cool. I recommend anyone going out, do the, do the temples and maybe just have a cheeky night out. And then uh, come down to the coast because this place is really different. Like, it's chilled out to fuck. I love it. I really love it. Uh, you, don't have, you don't feel like you have to do anything. So that's always good. It's like a holiday. Uh, so yeah, that's that really. Uh, enjoy the videos. I'll see how many I've got. I think I've got quite a few. So enjoy. I need a big poo actually. I broke that. That's broken. Jesus. Bloody rain. Hardcore rain, bro. Can't really catch it, though. Maybe give us a little splash on your hand. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah.